What's up everybody? I am back doing another Star Wars Force Arena video. This time we are spotlighting this uh, mobile ray shield and uh, looks pretty cool. It's a new card that came out for patch 1.7.12 for the Rebel side. I'm um, not really sure uh, what to do with it yet so I'm gonna rock my boy Baze since he got a little bit of a buff and uh, I got some crystals I can use so I'm gonna purchase one of these um, these guys that takes this card right to I think it's a little seven. Get that in there. Where's that card at? There it is. It looks really cool. I even like the, the artwork they got made for it. Alright, but let's rank this bad boy up. Come on. Click through rate is. Urgh. Go. Psh, psh, come on. That it? Level 7, yeah, good deal. Alright, so a shield is created that protects allies from external blaster attacks. So if someone, kind of very much like, you know, if you see it in Star Wars shows, um, blaster shots from the outside hurt, but anything melee or anything within the uh, the, the shield generator, because you can just walk through them, um, if the enemy is within it, then they can still shoot you. And it's only blaster effects for, for range, so I think someone like Palpatine can still... Uh, do his lightning through it. So gotta watch out for that. Alright, so Baze also got himself a little bit of a buff. I'm gonna make myself a nice Baze deck. Not really sure what I want to do yet. So I'm thinking, I mean, there's two uses for this card. Offense and defense. Defense, drop it over your, uh, your turret uh, as far back as possible. This way you can protect it from any oncoming blaster fire, like any, uh, any any ranged uh, leader or any uh, uh, ranged troops, like stormtroopers, uh, sand troopers, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure what I want to play. I definitely want an AoE card. I don't think I need stun in the deck, at least for this demonstration. I like the GNK mixed with Baze, but I think I'm going to roll with the Wookiee so I can do the Wookiee tank combo. And then offensively with the shield generator, when your guys go into turret range, you can drop it over top of them, and the turret blast won't go through the shield. So you get a little, almost like having a chopper. You get that free uh, turret damage without taking turret fire. Um, so I really want this to be... I don't really need any melee troops. But actually, since that, be, that being said... I'll have my tank. Let's let's throw him. Uh, that might be pricey. I'll throw you in there. So I have uh, true roots. I don't really need my grenadier. That's a high cost. That's three point six. All right, Wookie is actually three. It's a three point four. I like that. I'll go to three point four. All right. Let's see how this works out. All right, we got ourselves another match. And the 40th Vader. Yo, yeah, works out. See what he does. All right, so he is uh, already pushing. Got some heavy gunners. They're gonna do some work over there. Right, the, not the greatest time to drop that energy shield over there, but it looks like it worked. Can we take out Vader? No? Now I got a nice healthy tank rolling in. Ah, I didn't get it in time. Now I have like no health, but I was able to make a good push. I still managed to stay alive somehow. Troot just beasted through that. Man, I got no health.
No, get out of that. Shit. That was a good, <laughs> well-placed bomber there. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, don't really have any energy to counter right now. But that force field seemed to work out okay. I don't really have my typical uh, Wookiee play here. There we go. Now I do. Should be able to get a nice push. So I'm slow play the Wookiee. Build up some more energy. We can drop the tank behind him. These guys can just go right there. Chiroot. This will defend us. I'm gonna go suicide here. Go. Good deal. What are these guys doing? Eh, they decided to come this way. That's pretty funny. Yeah, so that force field seemed to uh, help a lot. I'm gonna throw these guys. Uh, use that. Yeah. Good game, buddy. Good game. So yeah, that force field really benefited me there. Uh, really saved my turret on a couple of pushes, at least from a little bit of chip damage. It might have not a, you know, if you had a full hard push, it might not have saved me the whole time. I'll give you a like, buddy. Well done. But, uh, yeah, overall, even the animation for that is really cool, the way the force field just kind of comes in. Pretty awesome. All right, guys, so it's been pretty fun to play Force Rain again. I kind of haven't played it too much, but I'll try and pump out some little videos now. Uh, my leader of the weeks are kind of, uh, can't really do those as much because I don't really have the time to stream as much during the week as I was. I'm going to try and pump out some little videos. There's just some little decks that I'm trying, especially when like new cards like this come out. This has been from you know, patch 1.7.12. Uh, hopefully soon we'll at least get a patch 1.8 or even a patch 2.0. I know everybody's very anxious to get some new uh, eras into this game before it you know, uh, goes down. Uh, I hope it doesn't because I love this game, uh, but I'm kind of getting bored so I want something. I want more more than just a little update with two cards, you know? Uh, so yeah, this has been it, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'll catch you in the next video. Later.